This is the RT300. This is one of my favorite pieces of equipment in my home gym. Right now you're seeing myself, Josh Basil, and my caregiver, Neil Manello, setting up on the RT300. Pretty much I take off the legs of my wheelchair and I wheel up to the bicycle. And then my caregiver will take my legs and strap them into the leg plates. If you do have a leg bag, you can just take off the strap and place it on the side so that it rests comfortably. Before getting on the bike, you do want to be able to put the electrodes on your butt muscles, which is called your glutes. And that is best done in bed, but you can do it in the chair, but it takes um, some skills. This is how you start. You click the start button, and then all of a sudden, after it warms up first in a motor function, which is called passive therapy, and then it moves after a certain amount of time, about a minute, it goes straight to active mode, which is electrical stimulation. Right there you are seeing that addition of the speed, which is RPMs. I like it to be around 42 revolutions per minute. There are a total of five different settings that you can look at. There's distance, time left, resistance, which can go up and down. Certain modes have a plus or minus so that you can control it, which is a very cool function of the RT300. Next is power, speed, and speed is one that you can go up and down on too. The thing that I like the most about the bike is that it gives me a cardiovascular workout that otherwise I would not be able to get because it truly is able to use your own body's muscles to give you an exercise. And not only does it give your body, your lower body an exercise, it creates neurological signals below your level of injury that travel up your spinal cord through your level of injury to get to your brain, saying that I'm moving my legs in this type of pattern. And at the same time, your brain is sending signals downward saying, I am doing this. So it's a great restorative therapy to allow you to re-educate your damaged spinal cord. When it comes to pad placements, you always want to keep your pads moist. Usually about two to three drops worth of water on each pad before and after a session will allow them to stay at a good level for your therapy session. Just like you.